Cats. A presentation by Roy Rock, J.J. Brooks, and David Freed. Cats. They're some of the most dominant predators on the planet, and they only descend from one ancestor. Evidence shows that cats descended from a panther-like ancestor. Let's call this ancestor Steve. Steve lived in Southeast Asia 10.8 million years ago. As sea levels rose and fell, cats began to migrate to new continents and encounter new environments, resulting in the development of many species. Cats today are divided into eight prominent lineages. The first group of cats to branch off from Steve produced what is known today as the Panthera lineage. This includes the roaring cats, such as the lion and the tiger. This ability is unique to the lineage Panthera because of an incompletely ossified hive. The Panthera lineage is comprised of seven species. The lion, the leopard, the jaguar, the tiger, snow leopard, clouded leopard, and the Bornean clouded leopard. The next lineage of cats is the bay cat. It is comprised of merely three small cats, which lived only in Southeast Asia. The three species in this lineage are the Asian golden cat, the Bornean bay cat, and the marble cat. The third lineage to develop was the Caracal lineage, medium-sized cats found in Africa. Like the Bay Cat lineage, the Caracal is comprised of three different species of cats. The Caracal, the African Golden Cat, and the Serval. Our next lineage, the Ocelot lineage, is comprised of small to medium-sized cats in Central and South America. These cats have a different number of chromosomes than other cats. The ocelots are tied with the panthera lineage for having the most number of species, seven. These cats consist of the Jeffreys cat, the cod cod, the tigrina, the Andean mountain cat, the pampas cat, the marguerite, and of course, the ocelot. Next, the lynx lineage developed from cats who migrated into America 8 million years ago, along with the ocelot. The lynx has four species of cats, the Iberian lynx, the Eurasian lynx, the Canada lynx, and the bobcat. The puma lineage averaged 6.7 million years ago, which allowed the development of species such as the puma, jaguar rundi, and the American cheetah, which through fossils in 1990 was proven to be an ancestor to the cheetah we know today. Fossil remains of all these species in America nail down their origin in the Western Hemisphere and triangulate the lineage into its three species. The next lineage to split was the Asian leopard cat. These cats are the most common small cats throughout Asia. The five species that make up this lineage are the Asian leopard cat, the fishing cat, the flat-headed cat, the rusty spotted cat, and Pallas's cat. The last lineage to develop from Steve was today's modern domestic cat. The five species that make up this lineage are the domestic cat, the wild cat, the sand cat, the black-footed cat, and the jungle cat. Thanks to advances in the study of DNA, it has now been made possible to construct the first clearly resolved family tree for cats, showing that there are 8 total lineages and 37 total species. This is the Cat Kingdom. During ancient times, sea levels fell so low that it allowed cats to migrate to new continents. Cats then began to populate other continents such as North America and South America. 
As cats were introduced to new environments, cats with favorable traits began to flourish and reproduce. Those that flourished are the ancestors of the cats we know today. Many cats, such as the cheetah, the puma, and the tiger, faced extinction at one point in time. 73,000 years ago, the tiger was threatened by a volcanic eruption, almost leading to certain extinction. This close call with extinction is an example of selective pressure. The final chapter is the domestication of the cat, which is fairly recent and has been caused by us humans. We are a major selective pressure and have helped to cultivate and migrate this lineage all over the world.